uh, you go to chat po to everyone kasi ako na po yung magkukuha later. Um anong anong ilalagay pangalan lang, Lay? Name, address, phone number and email po. Nasaan pa? Nasa screen po, nasa screen. Name, address, phone number and email po. Kanina na si Sen. Everyone po, sabi ni Ate Lay, everyone. For your certificates so, so, po. So ilalagay mo 'yung pangalan, ganun. Apo, pangalan, address, phone number and email. Alam mo, hindi ko makuha. Okay, Ate, uh, si, si, if, if, if you cannot type it on chat, Parang wala. It to, uh, wala sa akin. Lay kanino si send the information oh. to everybody? Yes. Live chat. Lahat uh, ng Pilipinos? Uh, yes, Father. <laughs> We have family from the Philippines, friends from the Philippines. And also from the Philippines? Yes. Oh, father. yes. And, uh, oh, yes, maganda. in different areas. <laughs> maganda na maganda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Welcome to our 33 days to morning glory. And... Um, Thank you for your presence, Father Vito. So today we are doing the pre-orientation. This is my desire. And um, I'm Lorelai, to those who doesn't know me yet. I'm Lorelai and... Um, Anna Dorelei, Dorelai. Dorelai. <laughs> <laughs> so I really appreciate you saying yes. Saying yes to our call to consecrate to the blessed mother so for the next um 33 days we will be your companion in doing the third the the consecration and hopefully all of you has um already the book of the 33 days to morning glory and um what we're going to do this book will uh, will um tell you to read a page for a day but I did a little bit more than reading. So aside from, um, we will read and then we will ponder and we will meet. That's what this book is requiring us about. But what I did is I made a little bit twitch on it as um, we will send you a flash wave three times a day to remind you of the pondering. So as a, if you are already included in a, in any prayer group, what we're going to do on this one is we will use our ears to listen to what the book is telling us. And we will use our mind, our heart to ponder so less of our mouth. And we will use that to make our heart bigger and see through things through the help of the Blessed Mother. And we're going to anchor um, the desire to model ourselves to the Blessed Mother. And this is my team. Um, I have Sister Emily Golomko as our creatives consultant. We have Joyce Bendia for Sister well, Joyce Bendia for our multimedia creator. Our dearest Mary Grace, she is uh, oh she is the multimedia specialist. Mm -hmm. And um, she uh Rowena Bush and the participate advocates, anything that you needed help. Rowena is our angel for that. So just email her, text her, and all of us will attend to what you need. And Ati Lourdes Uba also helped us in sending people over to the team so we can consecrate more people to the Blessed Mother. And of course, we have Father Vito, um, DeMarcio, and Father, Reverend Father Egai de Jesus as our spiritual director, and we really appreciate him. So less, less information about me. So this, this team, our goal is to help you be a saint. We have 34 participants 
signed on. But we have more than that because in each household, there's a couple or four people, five people in each household. And I am very, we have like all over from the parish of Father Vito, we have um, some from the choirs, from the Legion of Mary, from Divine Mercy, um, Corsilistas from the Philippines, um, from St. Genevieve. So we have all over. We have people from Arizona. Um, I'm from California, Illinois, and um, Anaheim also. So thank you, God. Thank you, God, for sending us all this beautiful souls that we will consecrate to you. And um, so for this 33 days, it will all be just listening, pondering, and moving towards our goal to be a saint. So I am so grateful that I have a lot of future saints in our room. And um, please let us know through your, through text, through email, through Instagram or WhatsApp, what is the best way to reach you so you can get your flash waves. And I will lead, leave um, the rest of the information or the night with our dearest Father Vito, who will inspire us on why do we have to consecrate ourselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So Father Vito, um, a little information about him that I acquired is He's the pastor of St. Elizabeth Church in Van Nuys, California. And Father, you've been a priest for over 55 years, is that correct? Religious, yes. Not the priest. The priest oh, is uh, religious in what? June. What wow. Wow. So um, I will give the floor over to you. And thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Let us start with the prayer then. And Maria from Seattle. We do also have Maria or from Seattle. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Huya Gus is here too. So thank you very much, Ati Glenn. We have a lot of people. Yay! <laughs> So the floor is yours, Father. Okay. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us invoke the Holy Spirit to guide me and to guide all of us in starting this uh, 33 days of preparation for the consecration to Mary uh, as slaves of love. That uh, we not only will understand what, uh, especially uh, the one who started, uh, Saint Louis Grignon de Montfort, but also the other saints, especially the one who are in the book, in, in this first, uh, in this first, um, uh, talk, I added also Saint Anibal di Francia. I will tell you why. Then uh, let us uh, tell to the Holy Spirit to be present now. Let us say a prayer Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And let us also start saying uh, an Hail Mary, asking Mary to accompany us in these 33 days. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for pray us. Pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We erogationists, uh, 
conclude our prayers saying these words, send the Lord the holy apostles into your church. Send the Lord the apostles into your holy church. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I will not be very long, but uh, I try to put or to underline, I think, the most important thing that we need to do in this preparation, starting this uh, 33 days, especially the first week. I wrote like this, my dear brothers and sisters, Lorelai asked me to give the introduction to this retreat that will last 33 days and will prepare you to consecrate to Jesus through Mary, or more simply, consecration to Mary. They have the same meaning. According to the spirituality of St. Louis Maria Grignon, Mary Grignon de Montfort. I answer yes with joy, because it is for me an occasion joining this retreat to renew my own consecration as that I did the first time during my novitiate of the Rogationist, 55 years ago. And uh, we in our communities renew once a year at the vigil of the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception because it's part of our spirituality as sons of Saint Hannibal our founder. I will talk about him later on. This um, uh, uh, renewal that we have every year, I discover that yes, we do it, we prepare uh, ourselves. We, um, we do it at night uh, of the vision of the Immaculate Conception, but I discover that it becomes like a custom. I mean, it was not really that, that renewal that uh, um, our father founder and Saint uh, Louis de uh, Grignon de Montfort wanted you know, after the consecration. And uh, now going through this, the writings of Saint Hannibal and also going through the writings of Saint Louis de Grignon, I see that uh, it requires much more than just reciting you know, the renewal uh, of consecration ourselves to the Blessed Virgin. I would like to start from the introduction of the book, 33 Days to Morning Glory of Father Michael Gate Gately. Gately is the name? Yeah. Gately, yeah. Gate Gately. Yeah. That's correct, Father. Okay. Uh, it says Marian consecration basically means giving Mary our full permission to complete motherly task in us, which is to form us into another Christ. It's a big task. Thus, by consecrating each self to Mary, each of us is saying to her, Mary, I want to be a saint, and that is your God-given mission for me, into one, to form me, to form me into one. So, Mary, in this moment, in this day, I freely choose to give you my full permission to do your work in me, with your spouse, the Holy Spirit. St. Louis the Montfort formula of total consecration to Jesus through Mary is not to be taken lightly. This is evidenced from the fact that saint, the saint himself advocates a serious preparation consisting of 12 preliminary days in which the soul's endeavors to rid itself of the spirit of the world as opposed to the spirit of Christ. I think in this preparation that you, you have, no, you have the first week of St. Louis de Grignon de Montfort, and then the other week is um, the one of uh, 
the Maximilian uh, uh, from uh, Maximilian Kolbe the second week. Yes. And then the the uh, it came it became Saint Saint uh, Mother Teresa. The third week. And then uh, Saint Paul John Paul the second. No, these are the uh, and I believe my when I prepared myself in the novitiate with uh, 33 days, uh, we were following mainly uh, Saint John, uh, Saint Louis Grignon de Montfort and our father founder, uh, because our father founder really uh, was uh, uh, so faithful to that, uh, to that um, style of consecration of Saint Louis de Grignon de Montfort. In this first week of prayer and meditation during which we will strive to acquire a better knowledge of self, of Mary and of Jesus Christ, through this preliminary period it is strongly recommended, it is obvious that the length of time devoted to such a preparation may vary according to the one personal needs and circumstances. According to the author of the book, in this first week, we will be guided by St. Louis Grignon de Montfort, and I will add our father founder, St. Annibal Mary de Francia. First step according to St. Louis Grignon de Montfort. It is uh, to empty oneself of the spirit of the world. He says, examine your conscience, pray, practice renouncement of your own will, mortification, purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of the preparation should be employed in casting off spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, a denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience. Thus it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concupiscence of the flesh, by the concupiscence of the eyes, and by the pride of life, by disobedience of God's laws, and abuse of created, created things. It works, its works are seen in all forms, than all else by which the devil leads to sin. Works which brings error <coughs> and darkness to the mind and seduction and corruption of, to, the, to the will. Its pumps are the splendor and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in person, places and things. As you see, it is a very uh, detailed, I would say, description of what we have to renounce. No, we have to fight against, you know, in order that acquiring that purity of heart, in order to contemplate God. Our father founder, Saint Anibal di Francia, practically says the same things. To obtain this great privilege, the consecration to Jesus through Mary, we must prepare with prayer, imploring from the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary, and from the Holy and Divine Spirit, light and grace to know our nothingness, to renounce to the world to sin and to the devil, to our passions, and to grow in the knowledge and in the love of Jesus and for the Blessed Virgin, our sweetness mother. This is uh, in one uh, of the writings that uh, it is uh, kind of a little uh, 
pamphlets as modo di prepararsi alla sacra schiavitù, manner to prepare ourselves to the sacred slavery of uh, uh, Mary. My dear brothers and sisters, as you see from the words of these two saints, to prepare ourselves to consecrate to Jesus through Mary is fundamental because as St. Louis de, Mon de Montfort puts it, purity is indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. And Mary will help us because her task is to make us all Jesus. Let us try now to reflect on some words that these two saints say in this pre uh, preparation. If you noticed, all they suggest coincide to what we must do in this time of Lent that we have started last Wednesday. See, it is a beautiful coincidence. We started last Wednesday and practically these words, prayer, penance, renunciation of, uh, of sin and all the uh, other um, things you know, that we do during, during Lent, for example, fasting, abstinence, are uh, in this uh, preparation that we have to uh, do. No? And uh, then I will spend a little time with uh, at least a few of these words, starting with prayer. What is prayer then? Prayer is the Christian way of communicate, communicating with God. We pray to praise God and thank him and tell him how much we love him. We pray to enjoy his presence and tell him what is going on in our lives. We pray to make requests and seek guidance and ask for wisdom. God loves this exchange with his children, just as we love the exchange we have with our children. Fellowship with God is the heart of prayer. Too often we lose sight of how simple prayer is really supposed to be. Certainly, prayer is not a formal recitation of formulas, with our mind in something else. I find myself often <laughs> that I am saying, for example, the bravery or the rosary, and I find myself thinking something else. Now, while I say the prayer, uh, I think uh, it is uh, a, a common experience. But when this that this can, this can happen to everybody, but because we are human. But when we realize it, the simple thing to do is to put ourselves in the presence of God and continue our dialogue with him. That is important, that we are talking to him, not just saying formulas of prayers. It, it is clear this point because it's important. At times our prayer is limited to make petitions and not, as I said, praise God and thank him and tell him how much we love him. Yeah, we pray, we have prayed and Lord doesn't, doesn't uh, listen to me. How many times you have said that? No, we pray, we make re petitions, requests. Lord God, uh, God, I lived. I need. I needed this. I need this. But before doing that, first of all, we have to thank Him. We have to glorify Him. We have to love Him. And then, at the end, we can make request. We just to just to put a parenthesis. We as surrogationists, we have every year. A supplica. What is the supplica? It's a, a 33 prayers, like the ears of the ears of Jesus, that we do in front of the Blessed Sacrament. First of all, thanking Him for all the graces in the in the year that we have uh, 
experience, then we ask, we uh, give glory to him. Uh, this is the style that uh, our father founder taught us, and then every year it is prepared a new, a new set of uh, um, supplica. The last thing, the last part of the prayer of the supplica is when we uh, plead for what we need for the year. But that is the last one. The first thing is to really give glory to God. Um, let us then ask ourselves, how is my life of prayer? I need to change something. What is lacking in my prayer? Good examination of conscience starting this preparation. The second thing that St. Louis de, de Montfort tells us is practice renouncement of your own will. Faithful soul, living image of God, redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, is the will of God that you be holy like him in this life and glorious like him in the next. Your sure vocation is the acquisition of the holiness of God. And unless all your thoughts and, word, and words and action, all the sufferings and events of your life tend to that end, you are resisting God, but not doing by not doing what uh, uh, that for which he has created you and is now preserving you. Oh, what an admirable work, what God did in you. To change that uh, which is dust into light, to make pure what uh, uh, that what, which is unclean, holy that is sinful, to make the creature like its creator, man like God, admirable work, I repeat, but difficult in itself and impossible to mere nature. Only God, by his grace, by his abundant and extraordinary grace, can accomplish it. Even the creation of the, world, the whole world is not so great a master, please, as this. In other words, we always, we, um, in other words, be always ready to do the will of God. Also, when uh, to do its will is difficult. Remember Jesus in the Gethsemane. When uh, he asked the Father before his passion. Father, if it is possible, take away from me this chalice, but not my will, your will be done. Saint Hannibal says, true sanctity is the perfect union of our will to the will of the Most High for pure love of God. In Saint Hannibal, the comprehension of the will of God was the constant worry of his ministry. With full docility to the church, St. Hannibal understood this life and this work as gift of the heavenly providence and be submitted and be submitted to his divine will with loving humility. I would like to open a parenthesis here uh, because probably uh, some of you have heard about Luisa Picarretta. Toward the end of, of his life, St. Hannibal entered in contact with this mystic, Luisa Picarretta, who had the revelation of the divine will, and he became the first apostle of the divine will. Uh, I read some of his letters toward the end of his life, practically after he met this uh, Luisa Picarretta, he dedicated his life to um, spread 
the divine will to see that this is very important in the in the life of the of the Christians in the life of the believers, uh, and uh, uh, he corrected and he edited all the revelation of this uh, mystic um, because the bishop told him to do that and uh, the the first two books the Passion of the Lord and other two books that he edited uh, were um, uh, all. Uh, um, approved you no know, in the church when he died somebody else follow was the spiritual director and uh, they did not really edited what uh, she was she received because she was an alphabet practically and uh, many uh, the the book that came out they were condemned afterwards a uh, few years ago around 20 years ago all were approved no, but uh, it was really difficult to, to uh, understand what she was saying. Anyway, the parenthesis closed. As a Saint Louis de Montfort and Saint Hannibal de Francia, in our preparation for our consecration, we need this total submission to the will of God. And in doing so, we need to renounce to our own will. In our examen of conscience, let us see how we are ready in accepting and doing the will of God in our daily lives. Let us say now something about mortification, what Saint uh, um, Grignon said. Look upon the life's examples, the, he says, St. Louis Grignon says, look upon the lively example of the Holy Fathers. The Holy Fathers are the fathers of the church at the beginning, in whom shone real perfection and the religious life. And you will see how little it is and among nothing that we do and almost nothing what we do. Alas, what is our life when we compare with theirs? Saints and friends of Christ, they served our Lord in hunger, in thirst, in cold, in nakedness, in labor, in the varied um, weariness, in watching, in fasting, prayer and holy meditation, and in frequent persecution and reproaches. Oh, how many grievous tribulation did the apostles suffer and the martyrs and confessors and virgins and all the rest who resolved to follow the steps of Christ. For they hated their lives in this world that they might keep them in life everlasting. Oh, what a strict and self-renunciation self-renouncing life the Holy Fathers of the desert led. What long and grievous temptation did they bear? How often were they harassed, were they harassed by enemies? What frequent and fervent prayers did they offer up to God? What rigorous abstinence did they practice? St. Hannibal, in his part, tells us, it is needed that we be attentive in mortifying ourselves because we form the interior man only uh, uh, we form the interior man only in the demolition of the man affected by sin. The interior virtue is what we need to acquire mainly with a great effort. The pure intention to please only God and to have our heart detached from every earthly affection and totally addressed to the love of Jesus. The love of Jesus must form our beginning and our, uh, and our end. Then the last thing is purity of heart. 
this uh, Saint John Grignon says, this purity is indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. What a valiant contest the Holy Father waged to subdue their imperfections. What purity and the straightforwardness of purpose kept the day uh, towards God. By day they labored and much of the night they spent in prayer. Through, though while they labored, they were far from la leaving off mental prayer. They spent all their time profitably. Every hour seemed short to spend with God and even their necessary bodily refreshment was forgotten in great sweetness of contemplation. They renounced all riches, dignities, honors, and kindred. They hardly took what was necessary for life. It grieved them to serve the body even in its necessity. Accordingly, they were poor in earthly things, but very rich in grace and virtues. St. Anibal, referring to the novices, says, they must have as rule the interior virtues and above all, the exercise of the divine love. They must do and suffer everything for the pure love of Jesus, the supreme good, and grow in his love. They must have their thoughts always for Jesus, meditate his life, his passion, his death. In other words, the mysteries of his infinite love. They must be loving souls and love will make them strong in moments of suffering, in their work, in their immolation, and will lead them to the divine union that should be object of all their suffering and work. At the beginning of this talk, I reported from the introduction of the book, 33 Days to Morning Glory, Marian consecration basically, mean, basically means giving Mary our full permission to complete motherly task in us, which is to form us into another Christ. Thus by consecrating each selves to Mary, each of us is saying to her, Mary, I want to be saint. And that is your God given mission for me into one. So Mary, at this moment, in this day, I freely choose to give you my full permission to do your work in me with your spouse, the Holy Spirit. Father Mike continue saying, as soon Mary hears us make such decision, she flies to us and begin working a masterpiece, a grace within our souls. She continue is this work for as long as we don't deliberately choose to change our choice from a yes to a no, as long as we don't take back our permission to leave her. That being said, it's always a good idea for us to strive to dip our yes to Mary for deeper our yes becomes, the more marvelous, marvelously she can perform the works of grace in our souls. I think this is uh, really something that um, after this uh, introduction that I am uh, giving you, I, I really need to do, no? To renew this, uh, this yes to Mary and uh, have this uh, um, 
this kind of uh, um, complete trust in her. One of the greatest aspects of being consecrated to Mary is that she is such a gentle mother. She makes the lesson of the cross into something sweet and she pours her motherly love into our every wound. Going to her and giving her permission to do her job truly is the surest, easiest, shortest, and most perfect means to become a saint. What joy is to be consecrated to Jesus through Mary. His last words are the words of uh, Saint Louis Grignon de Montfort. I want to conclude with a prayer composed by Saint Anibal di Francia to Saint Louis Grignon de Montfort. But this prayer was composed by our founder uh, in 19. Uh, uh, nine, I think. Uh, he was still uh, alive and uh, he was uh, still working in the foundation of our congregations. And at that time, um, Saint Louis Grignon de Montfort was declared blessed in these days. I think uh, 906 it was, if I'm not wrong. I translate it from Italian. I will uh, read it to you. This is will be the conclusion of the talk. Then I don't know if you want to ask something. Glorious blessed Louis Mary de Montfort. We greet you as a living flame of love and of zeal for Jesus and Mary. We admire that divine wisdom which the Holy Spirit gave you, manifesting the secret of the most great devotion toward the Blessed Virgin. And we beg you for the love of Jesus and Mary that you obtain for us the intellect to comprehend this heavenly doctrine and the grace to embrace it. Please pray for us because we must be made worthy to become true slaves of Jesus in Mary and of Mary for Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father Beautiful. How can we get a copy of that prayer, Father? I will uh, uh, I will get from the I will send it to you and then you can send it to everybody, okay? Okay, Amen. that's beautiful, Father. Thank, Thank you. you, Father. Thank you. It's beautiful. Well, our time today is 8 to 8.30, but if you have any questions and you would like to stay, um, please do. But it is, it's full, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of information, but it is meaty. Like we all have all the points and details. And I try to, to be short in few words, but uh, that is important to start with this. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's very good. Yes, it's all uh, very, very informative. It's really true. Uh, do you have any question for Father Vito? Okay. Um. I cannot leave yet. I, 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 for me, I, I really appreciate you saying yes to us, Father. And with all humility, you have spoken to our hearts on how we should start and how we should make this Lent a beautiful offering to Jesus through Mary. And thank you for opening our eyes to the beauty of loving God through her, through the consecration to her. So uh, that that is what I got from from your talk. And um, this is the beauty of what I was injecting 
Um, the book is all about pondering. Mm -hmm. like every weekend, I will be having, we will be having a priest like Father Beto, who will talk more mm -hmm. about what we have, um, what, what more can we learn? Aside from what we read, it's what is in the heart of a priest and what do they know? Because they do have a lot of things, a lot of um, gracious information that they can share with us. And like I said, it is, we will not do a prayer on, on our 30 days, uh, 30 minutes for the next 33 days, but it will be our heart, our ears, that will be nourish, flourish, so we can move just like what Father said. We are all called to be a saint, and that's what we're going to do for this consecrating. We are not just desiring now. We are doing it. We are living it. We are deepening our yes to this marvelous works of um Mary in us so we are giving her the permission and we are slowly day by day put that in our heart and um learn to entrust the entirety of who we are and who we want to be to the gentle mother the blessed Mary um, our mother Mary and we will do that yes on the day that she said yes to God, we will say our yes to. So beautiful, beautiful Father, thank you. Very I was much. I was really happy of this coincidence. Then the introduction for the um, uh, the 30 day, 33 days of preparation and the Lenten season. That's why I also choose that words that Saint John Green, uh, Saint uh, Louis Grignon de Montfort said, and our father founder, because are the words that we underline most during this time, because uh, it is uh, for our own conversion, and our conversion as as a point, as a, a goal, to become saints. That is the the thing, and uh, we have. Mary as the one who will help us in our commitment. That's why it is so important, this consecration. I believe. We believe with you, Father. Okay, and if you could give us a blessing if they do not have any question. Uh, we, 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 we end the meeting. Yeah, yeah, Father. We only have thirty minutes. And I, think, I think for you, for you, it was it is too late. Maybe midnight already. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's twelve o'clock, but it's okay. I'm used to it already. <laughs> okay. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy and Spirit. The Holy spirit. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Lord. And uh, have a blessed and peaceful night. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We hope to see you again. <laughs> so tomorrow, um, we're going to have 45 minutes, and I will do um, brief orientation with Father Mike Gately. And moving forward to day one, which is the first two pages of the book. So please... Please do your um read your introduction and I will see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good job. Mama, keep keep watching. I love you. Yeah, sleep. Sa sa sleeping na. <laughs> okay Bye. lang kasi ano. English kasi. Yeah. <laughs> English kasi kaya nakatulog siya. Oh, bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Good job. Good job everyone. Grace, job. thank you. Humabol si Grace. Oh, Grace, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Thank you, Sister Amelia. Sister Lion, bukas. Bukas po, 4 o'clock to 4.45.
So, uh, uh, to us, 4. 5. Sa Pilipinas, it's, uh, mm -hmm. ano ba yun? 8, 7, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Okay. Oh, Chang. And then, um, it's already on YouTube, so those who miss this, if you would like to repeat it, you know, you want to repeat it. I think. Uh, so, I have it on YouTube. If you want to re uh, to watch it again, I will post it. Nasa FB po. Apo. Page. So, clear ko lang at LA, 5 o'clock tomorrow. Ano, sa California, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Oh. 4, 4, ang, ang weekday, ang weekdays, Oh, yeah, Sunday pala. Yeah, Sunday. So, tomorrow is a Sunday. So, it will be 4 o'clock to 4.45. Okay. Sa Pilipinas, so that will be plus 4 hours. Sa Pilipinas, plus 4 hours. Okay. Okay, any other question? Okay, salamat po. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow po. Okay, tomorrow po. Thank you po. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night, Clay. Good night, all. Good night po. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sister Lynn. Good night, night. Good night, night. Good night, everyone. Brother. Good night po. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mano po inay, mano po inay. Binigyan mo pa. Binigyan mo na eh. Sa ati Elvira. Sita Olive, see you tomorrow. Bye bye, love ya. Ati Elvira, thank you po. Mahimbing na tulog po sa lahat. <laughs> Ay sa mga sa mga gising, mag dilat tamatang trabaho. Tinuwana <laughs> <laughs> ko na lang ng picture para ma makuha ko lahat. Ah, ano tayo ah siguro mga Kasama ang mga asawa at saka yung buong household. Siguro mga 55, ganun. 55? Mm -mm. Kasi 41 na yung ano eh, yung nag-sign in lang eh. Mm -hmm. eh kasama yung pamilya na gaya ng Quintana, walo sila sa isang bahay. Lahat sila magkakonsecrate. <laughs> Lahat sila a-attend? Oo, oo. Talaga wow. na sila. Alam, no. si Dido sila. Yan yung mga kasama ko, bata pa ako. Puro, pur, nai, puro yata korselista. Nagsasabing mo, magro-roll yun na. Mag... <laughs> Madami korselista sa Pilipinas. Lahat yun sa Kabuyaw or sa... Sa, sa ano? Laguna. San Pedro. Pedro Laguna. Ah, San Pedro. 
Oh. Wala internet. Meron dami, 41. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tinext ko yung, ano eh, yung, yung sa choir. Eh, yung dalawa lang umuo, si Frank Ayala. Oh, okay. At saka si Carol. Sabi ko, okay lang. At least may umaten. Sa so, mga kasi susunod. Kasi parang dito, ano, ganda-ganda. And at saka kasi, yung iba, sa Pilipinas, so manunood lang sila sa video natin. Hmm. So, ba 